This is the car then. Let's go through this in full, as I said. We'll explore it with a quick walk around to begin and then start diving into things in a little bit more detail. But the Hurricane launched a number of years back now. We've seen a few different iterations of it, including the major update that came with the Evo and in particular the Evo rear wheel drive. Now, since that car, we've had the arrival of the Super Trofeo Homologato, based, of course, on the race car, the Super Trofeo itself homologated for the road. This sits between them. The Technica sits between between the Evo rear wheel drive and the STO, offering a car that's a little bit more versatile, but still incorporating many of the dynamic elements that make the STO quite so special. You'll see, for example, a fixed wing at the rear, and you'll notice the aggressive tailpipes. Around the front, the design is sharpened. It has new technologies for the brake cooling. We've got lightweight center lock wheels. We've got much more going on in terms of aerodynamics, offering 35% more downforce while reducing the drag by 20% as well compared to the rear wheel drive. It's a much lighter car using carbon fiber components. For example, the bonnet is full carbon and can be left exposed should you wish, as is the engine bay cover towards the back for a total weight of 1,379 kilos, only 40 kilos more than the STO, which has significantly more by way of carbon fiber body panels. So to go through this then in more detail, let's start right at the very front. In some ways, it's a familiar face, the familiar eyes with those shapes inside them, but this is heavily reworked and redesigned mind. So when you look at it, you can see these Ypsilon shapes, these Y shapes around the front, similar to those found on the Sian, the hybrid few-off series hypercar. Then you have these blades beneath, which remind me of the Aventador S, the updated version of the V12 big member of the family. But this is all opening for cooling, as you can see. Radiators inside, the airflow that's managed going through but it gives this very low, very wide, very sporty looking nose. It's based on the width and platform of the Evo rear wheel drive as opposed to the STO, so it's slightly narrower in comparison. And this particular car by color, by the way, is called Verde Selvans, this metallic green that we're looking at here, the launch specification. As we come round to the side with the wheels here, new design, 20 inch wheels front and rear with the regular Potenza sport tires or the optional Potenza race tires, but you can spot those six hexagonal shapes that they have with in the center lock wheel this is the upgrade wheel option carbon ceramic brakes as standard and new brake cooling that's something they've learnt and changed the system for keeping those brakes cool on the move obviously plenty of performance on tap from this now a heavy redesign is here this shape this design for the cooling you can see the vents here the intakes for the cooling that goes through towards the v10 that you have in the back but this has been inspired by the Ascensia sc v12 because a little bit more visual length to the car with this sloping line heading down towards the back more in line i would say with the v12 style shape and platform it's rear driven it is a rear wheel drive car we're talking lp640-2 for this 640 horsepower dash 2 the traditional rear wheel drive um, designation we could say as opposed to the dash four through that seven speed dual clutch gearbox which is absolutely fantastic as i can tell you from my experience with my sto but when you come here it's very different now the technica is slightly longer than the regular evo rear wheel drive which will continue alongside it in the line given the extra aero that you have back here so we've got a fixed spoiler across the top just sitting slightly above the rear deck some openings here for the cooling exhaust system tucked just within and you've got these hexagonal exhaust tailpipes finished very aggressively the way these are shaped and presented at the back and down below this diffuser that wraps out towards the rear obviously helping with the downforce keeping the car planted because the ethos is still one of being exciting to drive on the track being exciting to drive on a mountain pass but more pointed towards the daily usability in some extent